So today I'm going to be explaining how color flats work when coloring comics. So here's my artwork. It's line art essentially that was actually done in Procreate, but really this can be done uh, in by hand, pen and ink on paper, or in Photoshop. The main thing is that it cap gets captured digitally and gets brought into a program where we can start to color it. And the first phase in my workout is to create the color flats, which is what we see here on the screen. Now, when you take a closer look at this color flat um, stage, you basically see flat colors. And these can be made uh, in your artwork, typically underneath the line art that we just saw, with any number of selection tools or brush tools. But the important thing is that you separate out the different elements with different colors because what I do is I like to select those and then add details afterward. So again, the first stage on the left is the artwork, line artwork, and the second stage is the actual color flatting. After I've done the color flatting, the third phase, or the second phase, is now going in with these color renders. And it's really interesting when you take a look at it as far as like my process. When you take a look at this color render stage, um, you see what on the top of it or on the face of it looks almost like in incomplete, or, uh, incomplete or unfinished artwork. But really what I'm doing is I'm adding some shadows and some highlights to that previous color flat stage so that when you have the artwork all married together and you can see them broken out here, when they all get layered and they're done, you know, with the inks on top and the flats on the bottom. And then finally, when I come in with the color renders, it then creates a full composite image where on the finished artwork you now have what we see here which is the line art with the flats and the color renders all combined together so it's a process where once you have your workflow set up whether you're working in procreate which is my favorite application to use for coloring my comics uh, i've used photoshop as well but i prefer photo i prefer procreate um, but then you can use any number of programs i would imagine as well out there so this is how I do it this is how I color my comic books from the line art to the color flats and finally to the color rendering phase thanks for watching